Hi, this is Tasha, the Crafty Crowd. I am making a chocolate um, buttercream icing. And um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a pound of um, confection sugar. You're going to need a half a cup of um, vegetable shortening like Crisco. A stick of softened butter. Three-fourths a cup of um, cocoa. So just like um, cocoa powder. And let's see what else. A teaspoon, a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract. So you're in three to four tablespoons of milk, and you'll put that in at the end. So what you're going to do is you're going to cream together your um, butter and your Crisco, and once that's creamed in your stand, you want to use your stand mixer. You're going to add in the um, the cocoa and the vanilla extract. So um, I'm going to do it just a little bit different. So I'm going to cream together my um, my butter and my shortening. I'm going to add my vanilla extract. I'm going to add in my vanilla extract. And then what I did is I just added my cocoa powder and my um, convection sugar together. And I'll just add the dry ingredients um, at one time. And you want to do that a cup at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla extract. I did not use clear vanilla extract. I'm using pure vanilla that we got from Mexico. Since it's a dark um, icing, you don't need to use clear vanilla. Um, and of course you want to shift your, um, your dry ingredients through a shifter so that there's no um, clumps in the batter. And okay, so this is pretty, pretty well cleaned together. and make sure you get all the ingredients off of the side so it mixes well. And then when you do that, I'm going to let it cream for just a, a minute longer because my butter um, looks a little clumpy, but it's just because it's still a little bit cold because I softened it in the microwave and I guess the inside it can get very soft. So you're going to cream that. Once it's nice and creamy, you're going to start adding your dry ingredients about a cup at a time. It doesn't have to be exactly a cup at a time. You just want to um, add it slowly and you're going to mix it on low so that your dry ingredients don't go flying everywhere because um, it has a tendency of dusting and um, the confection sugar and everything has a tendency to kind of just splash everywhere if you do it quick. All right. So I already um, shift, sifted my... Um, dry ingredients, so I'm just going to So a pound of um, confectioner sugar is about four cups. So you can do four cups at a time, or you can do just like I do, just um, kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exactly. Um, and then you'll see once it's well mixed, just go ahead and add another, another batch. And it's going to look really dry. Um, and that's okay because we're going to add the milk in the very end. And this is just like a regular um, buttercream, but substitute some of the, um, the sugar for cocoa powder for the color and for the flavor. So you make sure you get ready looks good. So you want to make sure you get all your ingredients off of the side of the mixer and off of the bottom. Sometimes these um, stand mixtures don't get the very bottom of the bowl, so you just want to make sure that you kind of mix it up so it gets all the ingredients. It already looks really good. All right, so I'm going to add in some more. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you can already see it dusting up. And I'm just making a, um, a yellow cake with cho chocolate icing, and um, I did some strawberry chocolate covered strawberries. I'm going to decorate those on the cake. Just put those on the cake, and then with white chocolate, I'm going to write um, a message on the cake: "Happy birthday to the birthday girl." All and I'll grab the camera and show you what it's kind of looking like. So I don't know if you can see that, but. Looks like chocolate. And 
it looks a little dry, but that's okay. Again, we're going to add in the milk um, in a little bit after we get all the dry ingredients mixed in there really good. on low first so it gets most of the, um, it can start mixing it up so it doesn't fly everywhere. Yeah, it's really getting thick now so let's get it all blended and then we'll add the milk and get a nice consistency that you need. You can do a thinner consistency for spreading, um, just like with regular buttercream. Um, you know, just depending on how much milk you add, it'll determine the consistency. I'm just going to do a flat, um, or a, just a nice flat kind of icing. I'm not going to do any decorations really, so I need a pretty thin consistency so it spreads. Okay, so I have all my, and you can see, it looks very dry. So I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that start mixing. And I'll add my milk in once this is done. Again, I'm going to just make sure that all the stuff, all the ingredients are off the side and the bottom of the bowl. So everything gets mixed up nicely. All right. And it should help too once you add the milk, it'll grab it off the bottom, but you want to make sure you stop the mixer again and just get it all up there. All righty. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add my milk. And it's three to four tablespoons. Turn off your mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and start with two. You, do, you can do one at a time, but I know I want a uh, nice, smooth consistency, so I'm going to go ahead and start with two. And this is actually the first time I'm making this, but this chocolate buttercream. I love regular buttercream icing, so I hope this one is as good. And it's already starting to look a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and add in one more teaspoon of milk. And it's probably only going to need three. It's really not that dry. So I didn't do quite a whole teaspoon. So I'll mix this. And now you're just going to want to um, mix it on medium to high until it is nice and light and fluffy. Make sure I get all my ingredients off the bottom. Get all the sides. While you're decorating, go ahead and just make sure there's a damp cloth on top so it doesn't press like buttercream does. So this looks really good, and I'll come back and I'll show you um, after I've iced the cake. Thanks. Okay, here is the end product. So it's my yellow cake with um, olive oil. Sorry, had a brain freeze there. Um, so it's my yellow cake with olive oil, which makes it nice and um, moist and creamy and everything. Uh, I did the 
chocolate covered strawberries with a little white accent, cho white chocolate accent. And I wrote happy birthday also in white chocolate. So there it is. It's my chocolate icing and um, it looks pretty good. It's a simple cake, but it's cute and I'm sure it will taste yummy. Thanks for watching. Bye.